Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from Kennesaw, Georgia on this Tuesday morning, August 2nd, 2022. We're 214 days in to the 2022 edition of the Game of Life, and I do hope that you are playing along with me. When you say, I mean, when you come on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from and what type of shibboleth play you are making today. So yesterday I made an, um, a perfect day. It was a perfect day. Not necessarily an intermittent fasting day because I had an extra after 8 o'clock last night. I will eat around 8 o'clock this morning, so that's like 12 hours. I mean, it could have technically be one, but see, I hold myself to a higher standard. And if I say IMF, I like to do at least stop and eating before 6 o'clock at night. So that's my own little thing, but legitimately it is 12 hours. So I could wait till 8.30 this morning and eat, and then it would be an IMF day for yesterday, but I just marked it perfect. So today I'm going to have another intermittent fasting perfect day. Let's say yesterday I was at lunch and uh, I did my speaking engagement. It was so much fun. It was so, I, I loved hearing from all the ladies. We had a great time together. It, it was awesome. Um, I do love ladies groups. Love, love, love ladies groups. So we had a lot of fun. But today I am meeting with Jennifer, my VP and the owner of Around About Local Media. And we get to show him all the things that we have been creating all summer and that we're putting into play. We've got all kinds of revenue ideas, some of which have already happened, some of which are going to be put into play in the future. So we'll be out at lunch again today. I always have a perfect day at that place. But I'm thinking about switching up what I eat, and so I'm going to look at the menu before I go, and I will have that planned. Because their menu is one of those menus that has strange names to things. You know, they name them after people in the community, or they name them some type of Cadillac whatever, or Sunset whatever, and you've got to really read everything in order to know what you're ordering. I find that if I'm wanting to go to a restaurant and I know that their menu is like that and I want to switch something up to look before I go so that I'm not having to feel like I'm in a research project looking at their menu. So I'm going to look at that before I go and have that all planned and everything. But I hope y'all are doing well this morning. Please say hello and hit that share button for me. You'll notice I have on a Braves shirt today. I'm, I, my next Braves uh, game is on September 20th, so I'm going be there for a while, but I haven't worn this shirt yet, so I put it on, and I wanted to tell you the story about this. When we get our tickets for the Braves game, they've got money on them, that $15, and you can choose to spend that money on food, but and most time I think people do probably think about food first, but I don't want to eat. I often go to the Braves game and, and have a perfect day, and I don't want to lose my $15. So guess what I figured out? I figured out that the $15 can be applied to clothing. So I bought this one the last time I was there. And um, I like red. I like a v-neck. This is a female cut. I like it so much. So I spend the money that's on my ticket to the Braves game on clothes. So there you go. I actually get something I want more out of it the clothes than food. Now, if you put clothes and food in front of me, like if, you know how some people are like, I like food. Well, if you put a choice in front of me, food or clothes, I'm going to take the clothes all day long because the clothes last much longer than the food. All right, I'm going to read this devotion this morning, and then I'm going to show you some things I got at the uh, Kennesaw Shibby Shop yesterday to refresh my pantry a little bit. This is coming from Jesus Always by Sarah Young. The present moment is the point at which time intersects eternity. It is also the place where you can encounter me, your eternal Savior. So keep your thoughts focused on the present as much as you can, enjoying my presence here and now. Invite me into whatever you are engaged in. Ask me to help you do your work heartily, working collaboratively with me. Ooh, yes with him, lightens your load and enables you to be more effective. Love being able to take that thought and walk into my office and go, Lord, what are we doing 
in the next five minutes. And then if I go take a break, come back, Lord, what are we going to do in these next five minutes? Just like bringing him in all the time. Share with me not only your work, but also your leisure, thanking me for both. When something upsets you, don't be fearful or obsessive. Um, don't let fearful or obsessive thoughts take over your mind. Instead, talk with me about whatever is troubling you. Then cast all your anxiety on me. Woo! First Peter 5, 7, my favorite verse. Knowing that I care for you. If you ask, I will open your eyes and awaken your heart so that you can see more fully all the present, all that the present contains. I delight in meeting you with wide awake heart, with your wide awake heart. I'm not wide awake this morning. I literally got out of the bed, put this brave shirt on, brushed my hair and came over here. I came into the world so that you may have life in abundance till it overflows. Well, that's just a really fun and encouraging devotion this morning. I'm going to dog ear that one. Um, I really like that one this morning. So yesterday when I did the, the talk, I mentioned something that my pastor said on Sunday, and he said that there's a lot of pressure in having to know the way. So he was talking about the Ark of the Covenant and how they were told to let the Ark of the Covenant go before them by 200 cubits, uh, which is half a mile. And so they're saying that the Lord should go before you. So he said there's a lot of pressure in, in you yourself having to know the way. And I always think back to my verse, my favorite verse, 1 Peter 5, 7, and it kind of relates to them. His next statement was, let the Lord lead, and it removes the pressure from you of having to know the way. Well, you have to cast your cares upon him to also let him lead because oftentimes we have a hard time doing that. Okay, so yesterday when I was at the shop, they had some new things that I hadn't purchased before. So I wanted to show y'all. I have not tasted them yet. I'll have to give y'all a taste test later. But these wild, W-I-L-D-E, protein chips. This is a sea salt and vinegar one. I always enjoyed the HealthWise high protein chips, the salt and vinegar flavor. And I was never a salt and vinegar type person before I tried those. And so I thought, you know what, let me try these. So I'm going to try those. I did not get the buffalo flavor because I heard they were pretty spicy and I don't really want my tongue to burn. Um, Himalayan pink salt. Okay, we'll try that one. Don't know what Himalayan pink salt is all about. Chicken and waffles. Okay, who wouldn't like that? Chicken and waffles. So this is, uh, Kristen said she really likes this one. So I'm going to try that one. And then I got um, Thinables. Okay, so Thinables were a very popular thing when I first started Chibolith, and they had some cheese-flavored ones. I didn't see any cheese-flavored ones in there yesterday, and I, I hope they come back up with them, but these are everything-flavored. And then this is the cinnamon and sugar-flavored. They're very light cinnamon and sugar flavor. And... I've shown y'all these before, but these are the party mix of the checks. I really like that, the fact that it's these bites. I love those bites out of the real check mix. So those are good. And then, oh yeah, I got some nuts and more like yesterday. This is my favorite flavor, white chocolate pretzel. And last night in class, I had some new people there and they were like, oh yeah, well we eat apples and peanut butter all the time. And I went, not approved. Unless you're having it with this. You can have a small or a half of a larger medium apple with one tablespoon of that and get that. But that's because this one has way more protein in it. And it'll offset, help offset the, um, the insulin release from the apple. And then I got these. I was out of all of, if you, as you can tell, I was kind of out of all of my chippy type things. And when I was making myself a wrap or something, I was like, where's all my little you know, goodies to eat next to it. So I got these rosemary flavored ones. You can also take those and crunch some of those up, like a condiment portion of what those would be and put them on a salad if you wanted some little crunchies on top. And then I picked myself up two hemp bars. I got pecan flavor and walnut for Kim D's Bionic Hemp Day. This will make for three weeks of Kim D's Bionic Hemp Day because I usually try to do it once a week Normally on Mondays, but I didn't do it yesterday, so this will come up sometime soon. So, those are what I got yesterday. Now, who's on here with this with me this morning? 
Hey, Valerie, good morning. I am F Day in Indiana. Hey, Jelena, perfect day in Cleveland. And Charlene, good morning from Michigan. Hey, Amanda, good morning. Missed you these last few days. I was off and not up this early. Enjoy the sleeping. I completely understand. Anyway, having a perfect day, working on Shibboleth Hot Challenge Day 2. I hope you have a great day too, Amanda, and come see us as soon as you can at class. Hey, Lisa, good morning from Pennsylvania, having a perfect day. Hey, Cindy, good morning from a very foggy mountain in Virginia. I am F Day. So, I like to find things in photos, and I was pointing out some fog. I point out the strangest things to people, but... I hope they bear with me. I took this picture with the drone the other day in a storm. Y'all, If you're friends with me on Facebook, you probably saw it. But I took this picture with the drone, and there's Kennesaw Mountain in the back right there. But what I really thought was fun is to see these little pockets where the, well, where'd it go? The steam is just, I guess it's fog or steam. I don't know, but these little little pockets of steam down there because it was hot and it had rained and all the steam was coming up. So I like all those things. Um, there was a lot more at a different point in that day, but it's fun to just, just really check out all the details in a picture. You never know what you're going to see. So enjoy that foggy mountain in Virginia, Cindy. Christy, good morning from Ball Ground, having an IMF day today. Shibboleth Hot Challenge Day 2. Hey, Paula, good morning. Shibboleth Hot Challenge, IMF Day in Norcross, Georgia. Hey, Kathy, good morning from Michigan, having a perfect day. Hey, Alicia, good morning. Perfect day number nine. Excited for day two of the Hot Challenge. It's awesome. Hey, Lori, good morning. Uh, from Kennesaw, striving for a perfect day. Hey, Chris, good morning. Jacksonville, Florida, IMF Day. And Diane from Columbus, Mississippi, I am F Day. Thank you for sharing. Share button is somewhere. Um, Sherry says, great devotion this morning. God knows what I need to hear. Yes, praying for you, Sherry. Thought about you this morning. Sherry says, the wild chips are yummy. Good, good, good. I can't wait to try them. Let me see. Could I figure out something to have them with for breakfast? <laughs> Could I have them as a meal replacement for breakfast? I don't know. You know why? I would need to do this, and I'm going to do this right now. So we're going to go into the food library, and I'm going to type in that W-I-L-D-E, W-I-L-D-E. Okay, wild chips, any flavor. Okay, let's see. They are a Category 3 energy carb. Okay, I'm glad I read this. These are a Category 3 energy carb, so that means they must be eaten with a lean protein and a fibrous carb. So now I know how to make any wrap or anything, okay? So that's good. And I wouldn't eat these with my Johnsonville turkey cheddar smoked sausages because those are a four, so I wouldn't do that. Um, or it can be a snack. So, so I'm glad I read this because I can't just turn two bags of that into a meal replacement. That's not what, that doesn't meet the qualifications. Approved portion, one ounce, about 20 chips as a snack or 10 to 12 chips as a category three. And then it says, it doesn't really tell you how many chips come in here. So I will have to play with that and look at it and see and figure that out. So. I'm going to, I've got a shortcut on my phone. I just tapped that and it did a screenshot. So it did a screenshot down there. Now I can just look back at that a little bit later when I'm playing with it. Thank you for mentioning that, Sherry. Um, let's see. Amanda says the chicken and waffles are really good and the thinnables were really good. I got the cinnamon and sugar. Good. Hey, Paula, I'm going to be up that way in a couple of weeks. I can't wait to go to the shop in person. That's awesome. Let let me know when you're coming, and I will see if I can also make a point to be there and meet you. And rosemary flavored what? Okay, these are rosemary flavored snack crackers. The Fiber Gourmet Snack Crackers. Charlene. Oh, it's backwards on the screen. Sorry about that, y'all. Alicia, love those crackers with chicken salad or my health-wise soup. That's awesome. 
Yes, okay, I see y'all are answering there. Hey, Polly, good morning. Hey, Angelius, I am F Day. Kim, how can I send you a message? You can go to Messenger, Messenger on um, the Facebook Messenger and send me a message. Hey, Patty, I am F Perfect Day. Holiday weight from my flawed Saturday is gone. <laughs> Yay, I don't have to yell at you anymore. <laughs> oh, what I really thought was funny, y'all, when I sent that message to Patty that says, you should have kept your perfect day. See, I was being kind of calm at first. Yeah, you really should have kept that perfect day because I realized, like, you said you were going to do it and then you didn't. But you know what she came back and said to me? Am I going to get a danky spanky? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, let's see. Polly is having a pro premier strawberry this morning. Enjoy that. Hey, Laura, good morning from Dalton. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. I hope they bring the, the cheddar thinables back. Actually, I like the four cheese thinables. They also had a jalapeno thinables. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Well, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Please go ahead and choose your play in the journal, the play for the day, whatever you're playing. IMF day, perfect day. If you're doing a divine day, a type of tiger day, a lion day, whatever it is you're doing, go ahead and, and journal that. And then, if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. And otherwise, watch Travis at um, 11 today. And... I did not get to see his 7 o'clock video last night, even though I had signed up for it, because I was at the shop talking to some new people and just jabbering away. We were all just jabbering away. I didn't leave there until 8.18, but it was it was great. I mean, I hope that, the, I hope, I hope the time that I spend with people impacts their life in a way that it helps them. That's why I spend time with people, but was it good, y'all? Y'all, um, I'll have to watch this later and see, but... I need to, I hope he sends out a video of it. I hope he recorded it and sends out a video of it because I want to be a part of that. All right, y'all have a great day. Please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory and we'll see you later. Okay, all right, Lori, Travis's video was great. I hope he sends it out today so I can watch it and know what's going on. That's one reason I like to watch the videos. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you for the hearts I see right there as we're leaving to go off today and I will see you in the morning. Bye, everybody.